The Reason for a Flower by Ruth Helen. Birds and bees and V's and these sip nectar from the flowers and as they search for more and more pollen from the flower goats to the next one as they explore some pollen travels in the breeze without the help of birds or bees and often makes you sneeze from another on a stamen to a stigma on a style pollen grains must travel and stay a little while and then you'll see the reason for each flower even weeds the reason for a flower is to manufacture seeds that have a cover of one kind or another some grow inside of a juicy fruit and it's not odd to find them growing in a pod. The largest one is a coconut. coconut. Seeds travel far and wide. Some even like to hitch a ride upon a bike or on a shoe. Squirrels hide them and forget they do. Some have burrs that stick and travel at a gallop. Seeds can settle anywhere they find water, sun, and air. And then they grow roots and stems and leaves some seeds grow up to be trees these grow where it's dry these may not look like flowers but they're the most important yet rice barley corn these are cereals that we need to eat millet bamboo and they're a treat for animals who don't like meat these are called herbivores would you believe that these plants eat meat and they are carnivores the largest flower ever found grows in the jungle near the ground a parasite clinging tight to the roots of trees that feed it three feet wide or maybe four weighs 15 pounds and sometimes more it has a nasty odor Raphlasia is its name. But here's a flower that owes its fame to smelling very sweet, and scientists agree that magnolias seem to be a prehistoric family. All flowers are angiosperm. That's an ancient Grecian term. Here are just a few more products made from, made from flowers. Straw, paper, wood, candy, coffee, tea, Popcorn, chocolate, pasta, bread, perfume, a cork, rope, cotton, rubber, medicine. This one has become a plum. The end.